Hello babes, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a brand new super long vlog. I just came back from the gym. I did at max like an eight incline on the treadmill at three speeds. So I've been walking kind of like uphill type of style for about 10 minutes and then doing some weightlifting. But when I come back, I like to have something like obviously protein. Let me take a breather. I've been having the Live Better MD protein powder. I like to have it right after I come back from the gym. This powder is so good, you guys. It is like a three in one. There's five sources of protein inside of here. There's 24 vitamins and minerals inside of here and you get a prebiotic. I get reached out to honestly to be transparent by a lot of people, you guys, to try out their different supplements and I go read their ingredients or just kind of like what the product is about, what does it do, and a lot of times they just don't pass the test. I really like this one. I love the taste of it. I love how easy it is to make, honestly. But this is also really great, like if I'm doing a haul that day, I'm like filming a lot and I don't have time to really be in the kitchen cooking up something or if I forgot to meal prep. You can take it on the go in the morning if you're in a rush, if you have a break at work and you just want something to fill you up a little bit, it's a great snack. It's only 90 calories per scoop as well, so I don't know about you guys, but it feels like sometimes when you go shopping for vitamins, you end up with this massive box with like 20 vitamins that you need to take. With this, you can't really forget your vitamins because they're literally all inside of here. They're not in a box where you have to take 20 of them, so. And I have to say, you guys, this is the least least grainy type of like supplement protein powder I have ever tried. The other ones I find are super grainy. You guys already know, I don't have to tell you guys. Non-GMO is also made in the USA and it is lab tested, you guys. And I love putting in a container like this because then you can kind of go like this and take out the perfect amount. And I do fill it up with mostly water, but I like to top it off with a tiny bit of milk. It just makes it like a little bit of a milky drink. I like to make mine watery like this and it tastes so good, you guys. Yes, my baby, tell them protein's really good for you. I have lots of protein. There's vitamin D in here, which can slow aging. They have vitamin A. This promotes really good eye health. They have manganese, which is great for strengthening your bones. Digestive enzymes that obviously helps you break down all your food that you eat. It's just filled and packed with things that a lot of us don't get when we eat our foods. I do have a code, you guys. If you use Stephanie M, you guys will get their subscription for only $39. You can also cancel it anytime. So I honestly have been loving this one. So I just wanted to share it with you guys. Okay, let's do a fashion overhaul, you guys. They sent over some pieces. I did get to choose these pieces myself. So, and you guys know I'm like changing up my style right now. So, there might be some things in here where you're like, ooh, I didn't expect that. But I'm really, I'm like in this like phase where I've really kind of switched my style over, but I'm still trying new things. You know what I mean? But I've been getting some requests from you guys as well. Like, can you do a fashion overhaul? Can you show us some fashion over pieces? So, I'm wearing this cardigan from them. It's so pretty you guys and it has this like pinstripe type of detail and you guys know I love my creams but it says black but it's more of like a dark charcoal type of grayish and it has like a little mix I like wearing it as a top and just kind of buttoning it up and having it a little open this cardigan definitely gives me like brunch vibes especially in the cream color so comfortable you guys like i just love how this looks and especially with my new like more sophisticated style i was like actually shocked to see this on their website so i love this cardigan and also has your two pockets on the front so it has like these seashell pearl um buttons on here and it again it just makes it look a little bit more elegant sophisticated and just a little bit more expensive i'm always on pinterest looking at new outfits, new kind of things I can try. And I'm not typically a leather jacket type of girl. Like this type of color and the fit of it, I can handle. It's like this smoky brown type of gray. You guys know I love my topes and it kind of has that like undertone. And it also comes with a belt, but for me, I removed it just to make it a little bit more cleaner and just a little bit more me, but so, so pretty, you guys. Like, I love this color. I love the wash look. And I love with an oversized leather jacket, you can make your outfit look super casual, but elevated. I'll leave all the links for you guys down below with my sizing that I'm wearing in every single piece, just so that it makes it easier for you guys. You already know I do that. But if you're new here, everything is down below in my description box. Stunning, stunning, oversized leather jacket, full leather jacket for springtime. Okay, this set over here is very much spring, but it's also very wedding to me. It is gorgeous, you guys. When I saw this online, I was like, oh my god, I cannot wait to do a reel with this, which I'm going to do that. You guys have probably seen some of these pieces in my shorts as well, but it has all these little tiny silver sequins on it, so it kind of gives it that like little glam. It does come with the skirt, and the skirt is really nice and long, 
and it also has a lot of stretch you guys and it's in a very knit material it gave me like spring vibes easter vibes so gorgeous and there's different ways that you can wear them so you can separate them yeah i did wear my shaper short underneath here just so that it was more comfortable with the sequins underneath but i wasn't uncomfortable whatsoever okay next we have this skirt but i also wore it with this bodysuit you know that material that you can dress up or dress down this one is that type of material it is so pretty you guys very very smoothing it will snatch you like oh I got this in a medium. I definitely could have gotten a small if I really wanted it nice and fitted and snatched. It is a bodysuit with your button closure. I love how clean the neckline is. The other thing I love, I will say about this bodysuit, is that you can wear it in so many different ways. One thing I will say about Fashion Nova is I noticed, which was very refreshing, is that I didn't see a lot of repetitive pieces that I see everywhere else. They kind of had their own things, like their own type of vibe. This skirt also has your zipper at the back so you can easily like lift it up and put it on. But the best part about it, you guys, is that it is stretchy. It also does your figure such a favor because it gives that illusion of this very curvy feminine body. Oh my God, let me tell you guys, when I opened up this dress, they must have like perfected their dresses or, and I, I feel like that's their thing. Like when you think Fashion Nova, you do think a little bit more like over the top. You think a little bit more dressed up, really nice quality, really nice thickness. So it has your halter neckline with the two buttons and it closes up. I actually did a poll on, um, like in that short and I asked you guys if you were team black or team red. I personally fell in love with the black because I just felt like I was shocked to see myself in that dress and I really fell in love with it. Like, you know when you're in an outfit you feel so gorgeous, you feel so beautiful and so you. I didn't want to take it off and my favorite part is that when it gets to the side over here it has a ruching detail so it really just scoops up the side of your waist and gives you that beautiful figure. You guys could see how it just hugged me honestly just put on your favorite shaper short and this dress will do the rest of the work if you want to go a little bit more classy a little bit more sophisticated then you have the black i wore these drop dangle earrings with the black because i wanted to do like silver with the black and then gold with the red it's a stretchy fabric you guys it's gonna be super easy to put on vote on here do you guys like the red or do you guys like the black okay then we have these two trousers this is the exact same trouser except I got it in the cream and I got it in the black. And one thing I love is the back has your stretchy waist. These are so comfortable, you guys. If you're looking for a really good, affordable, like everyday trouser, you're gonna wanna go for this one. But of course, y'all already know, I love my creams. Again, it's so hard to find ones that have the stretchy backs. I love, love the way they fit me, seriously. They have the most perfect weight. I feel like these are gonna be my go-to for my casual, um, like my elevated casual outfits throughout the spring and summer because I was thinking about that. I'm like, what pants are you going to wear? Because you're not really that like cargo type of girl anymore. We also got two jeans, you guys. This is a little bit more of your straight leg jean, whereas this one is a little bit more of your oversized baggy kind of wide jean. So I did give it a raw edge, but this one does come with the finished normal jean hem just so that you guys know. To show you guys the big difference, this is in a size five because it is a stretch jean. This is in a size nine, so two sizes up. So just keep that in mind. And this is why I like to show you guys like different options because they're just going to fit different. One thing about this jean when I wore it with the faux leather jacket is your midsection by your tummy, this is going to snatch you and this is going to grab all of that and suck it in. So they're also slightly darker than these, as you guys can see. Sometimes this is just too edgy for what I'm trying to do. So Sometimes I do need a straight leg. I love how clean they are. I know Fashion Nova is also very known for their jeans, so I had to show you guys at least two different options. I'm just so happy with these pieces. Oh, it's so fun. Like, when your style is changing, it is so fun trying new things, at least for me. I know it's also, like, scary and uncomfortable because I remember when I first started, I would put something on, and I'm like, oh, no, that's not it. But then like a few days later, I was like, no, that did look good. It's just you're not used to like seeing it on you, especially when you're used to like dressing a certain way and you completely change over. But it's just been so honestly, just so like refreshing and fun just trying new things. And I feel like that also happens when you try different brands too, because you're open to their collection, what they're known for and like what they offer. So I really love that about them. I'm gonna leave all the links, all the shop links if you guys want any of these pieces. Check them out down below in my description box. I'll leave the sizing right beside it. You guys already know to make it super easy for you guys. Also, if you guys ever have any questions about anything I show you guys in my vlogs, just please comment. Do not be shy. I love like helping you guys out. I'm always big on like fabrics and quality and how things feel. 
but for affordable pricing and I really feel like Fashion Nova has kind of like perfected that honestly they have everything you guys so if you haven't shopped with them in a while definitely like just take a peek at what they have because I was very surprised it's been years so I just wasn't sure what I was gonna find with them or if I was gonna find anything for my style but I was pleasantly surprised so I'm super happy that they sent these over but yeah if you guys want anything you can shop them down below in my description box thank you so much Fashion Nova for sending over these pieces have you guys tried the um, the whole olive oil thing with the coffee? Like how are you supposed to put a little bit of olive oil when you're making your coffee? It's ri Um, the olive oil. Uh, so what it kind of does, at least for me, is I feel like it makes your coffee like more smoother, but it also brings out those notes in the espresso. Like you get that like rich but smooth espresso punch. Like I don't know how to describe it, but it is so good, you guys. Like it almost makes the espresso... It almost makes the espresso like more velvety and like smooth. I don't know how to describe it, but it's so good. I don't know. It's just so smooth. Like now I'm going to get addicted to making it like this because it's just so nice. I've already shown you guys that I do this pretty much every, I can do it every week, especially because the winter you do have dry skin. So I would say like realistically, I do this every two weeks. I'm grabbing a bunch of oil. It doesn't have to be anything expensive. You're washing this off. This is only just so that your blade glides along your skin. Basically what I'm doing is dermaplaning. If you have never dermaplaned and you start, you know exactly what I'm about to say. You notice when your skin is dull versus someone who's never done dermaplaning because you can see the glow that you get after it. Like your skin just looks so renewed after it. It looks so glowy. The products apply better on your skin. You're taking off all the dead skin, all the buildup of my tanner that's always on my skin. I also like to do down here too because I have some hair here. I wanna tell you guys a little update. So I had like really bad hirsutism, which is basically you growing hair in like male usual areas, right? Not here, it's just this is my main area right over here. One thing I've noticed that helped me was well, as soon as I bought the vitamin um, called NAC, and I know a lot of people are like, inositol, inositol, inositol. I've tried inositol, you guys, for like months, and I just don't find it does anything for my hair. But the NAC, as soon as I start taking it, just a disclaimer, don't ever take anything I mention. Bring it up to your doctor, bring it up to your medical advisor, whoever you go to for it. I definitely notice a difference with the NAC. My hair started to get a lot thinner and they start to come in a lot slower. So I like to take that on a daily. I try to keep up with it because, which I also love this mirror, by the way, from Amazon. But I wanna take these guys out before. Something you guys definitely wanna do before you even start this is please wash your face, cleanse your face before. I get so much dead skin, like super, super bad buildup on top of my nose. Always do it on a 45 degree angle and I always have a little, um, it's already coming out, but I always have a little cotton pad. Again, you're giving your pores like a fresh start to take in all the skincare that you've spent money on. What's the point of putting good skincare on top of just buildup of dead skin that's not really like penetrating into the skin? But then I also like to have this headband on because it keeps like all my hair like out of my face without me having to like chop it off so i'll grab all this up here making sure i'm not cutting off any of my and then i'll just go slowly down like this i can link everything that you guys need basically you just need these razors cotton pad that you can get from anywhere cheap oil you don't have to get anything special i like to get this for when i'm doing like the magnifier mirror when i'm doing my eyebrows because that's an area you don't want to cut too much but you still want to get around it nicely Definitely this. This mirror actually comes with one. I just don't know where it is. Make sure I wash my hands before I go into the next step with my face because our face is just super vulnerable right now. It's super sensitive because we literally just scraped it and there's a bunch of oil all over it. 
So I'm gonna cleanse my face and I'm also gonna disinfect this guy, wash it up so that I can use it, or you can toss it, there's a bunch that come in the pack. Don't exfoliate, you're gonna like really upset your skin. I have a little bit of redness, but nothing crazy, honestly. This is with nothing on my skin. This is how the skin looks right after I've just cleansed. It's super dry right now. Obviously I need to like moisturize, but there's a glow there. My skin is refreshed. I can't even tell you guys what I was cleansing my face. Oh my God, your skin is so silky smooth. You have to try this out. If you're scared, those razors are kind of like using a shaver. We've all used one. So you're kind of just putting that to your face and that's not even like the medical, you're supposed to use like a medical grade razor, but even I'm not comfortable with that. So I will not be buying that. Like one wrong stroke girl. Can you imagine she barks and I'm like going like this and like you get like startled or something. Ay, por Dios, no, 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 no. Wouldn't recommend that. Um, I'm just, I'm afraid to recommend that to you guys. Use a brand new towel when you are washing your face. Do not use the one that you used before doing this to your face. Make sure it's a fresh, new, clean towel or else this don't make no sense, girl. So I'm gonna be using um, this Niacinamide Night Mask by Pharmacy. Anything hydrating, you wanna use it right now. You don't have to use this, but you want to hydrate the skin right now. That is like your ultimate goal. And this is a preference. I'm gonna be using an AHA serum. Um, this is also a night serum from them. I love pharmacy stuff like literally everything inside of my cupboard is from them I'm saying that this is optional because right now technically the AHA can irritate your skin It is a little harsh because it's pretty much an exfoliant um, and it gets inside of your pores So I'm only gonna put that much on here. I'm gonna grab my hyaluronic acid I'm gonna put a pump of that and then I'm also gonna scoop some of this My hands are clean so I'm able to like scoop it without using the thing and this is what we're gonna put on our face. So you will feel a little bit of a, like I'm feeling a little bit mm -hmm, of a tingle, it's nothing harsh. You really wanna take advantage of the fact that your pores are like fresh and open, you know what I mean? Um, bring it down to the neck because we also did the dermaplaning down there as well. Girl, one thing about me, let me tell you something, I'm just gonna say it because I mean, it's, it's very visible. Um, one thing about me is I do not have a strong jawline. If there's one thing I don't have, baby girl, it's a strong, jawline and me and Amy were freaking dying because someone said oh no someone was pointing the camera at me I'm like not at that angle girl I'm like not with this jawline and Amy was dying and I'm like what I don't have a strong jawline like it's just the freaking truth like it's definitely one of my insecurities I'm not gonna lie to you like this area from my dad's side like when we gain weight or we bloat it like goes down here I feel like my neck and my jawline my chin I feel like those three are a little too connected and I wish they weren't. I wish that they were not so friendly with each other. You know, I wish that they were kind of like distant cousins. Like they don't need to touch. I wish they were more separated. You know, this is the only time I would pray for a separation. You know what I'm saying? And you're gonna die, but the girl that did my filler, like, she's like, you know, we also have this thing where like, oh my God, it would look so good on you. Like it would give you like a really nice jawline. I'm like, mm -hmm, yeah, girl, we know that's not my strong point. I don't need you to point it out. I point it out to myself on a daily basis. I don't need you to do it too. Your skin's gonna take a f like a full few days to really just like, no, I don't wanna say heal, but like you just scraped off like dead skin again. So it's like very sensitive right now. But this is the final skin, you guys. I feel so so refreshed i've been meaning to do this for like a few days and i'm telling you once you start doing this you're not going to want to stop because you're going to see that dullness like i know if you did this you know exactly what i'm talking about but i absolutely love the way my skin looks it looks even better tomorrow i will not apply any tanner right now oh my god your skin is just so fresh and so clean so just leave it so i recommend this like maybe on a friday night if you're going to take it easy on the weekend but yeah definitely recommend it because it is just it's everything and oh my skin is everything to me so it's definitely something in my routine i constantly do guys someone just dropped off my shein package right and i was expecting it so then when i heard nyla bark i was like okay that's my package right so i'm in this row because i'm getting ready to do a reel so i hear the the package get dropped off and like i always wait a little bit so that like they can like go especially because i'm in this row right so he drops off the package <laughs> He drops off the package and I'm like, okay, it's safe, it's clear. I go grab it and I'm like bending down to just yank that. But like, you know, have you ever seen those videos where it's like your package is at the door and you're like, and you just grab, yo, that's me 24 seven. So I grab the package and the guy goes, uh, excuse me, excuse me. And I'm like, yo, 
I yanked it and I closed my door. I felt so bad. And he's like, excuse me, excuse me. But I was like, I am not going out there in this robe. Like, I'm sorry, I am completely like naked underneath here. It's a satin robe, so it has like a, you know, a little bit of a sassy, sexy vibe. I'm sorry, girl, but I am too classy for that shit. Call me prude, but I am not answering my door in no damn robe. Like, it's just not happening. Not in this world. So he's like, excuse me, excuse me. And I just pretended I didn't hear him, but I shut the door. I feel so bad. Oh, Lord knows, I feel so bad. Like, I seriously do. I could have said, like, one second, but I was, like, in flight or, no, fight or flight mode. And I was just like, yo, grab that package and close the door. And he's probably like, she either didn't hear me or she completely ignored me. But I'm so I'm just like super uncomfortable. I'm not going to do it. And I'm wondering now, why did he need my help? Because that's the only package I'm expecting today. Unless he needed help to find like a different unit. I don't know. But that was so awkward. Like what a weird start. <laughs> Yo, the way I just ripped this robe off, I was Speedy, Speedy McPhee, Speedy Gonzalez, Speedy Stefania. Holy shit, man, this guy knocks on the door and I freaking caught it on camera. I'm like, he's back. Guys, he wanted to give me another package, I assume. You know, if he said, like, I have another one for you, I might have just kept the door open. Like, imagine that, me, like, keeping the door open, and I'm like, where's the package? <laughs> like, this is just a pure example of, like, my overthinking, where I'm like, what could it be? Why does he say, excuse me? He just wants to give another package. Yo, the way I opened up my PJ drawer, and I threw on this set so quickly, I actually wish I caught that on camera, but you guys would have seen my titties, though. Okay, I just finished filming the look. I love how it turned out, honestly. I showed you guys I got this collar in the white um, when I was doing that cream faux fur kind of look for the coat. But then I thought of the black and I saw like an all black on black outfit. And I feel like ever since I've gone brunette, like I'm so much more open to wearing black now. But yeah, these gloves, this is all from Shein. The collar is from Amazon. They have them. Try looking from Shein. Maybe I'm just not typing the right words for their website. Yeah, I'm absolutely obsessed added these um, gold earrings. I'm obsessed with these earrings. I wear them like so many times. This belt is also from them. And then let's do one of my pure, is this the pure way? I don't know what this is called. From Shein, I wear these boots so, so, so much. Since my style has changed, I've been finding it so difficult to like wear casual outfits. And that was one of my like kind of goals and resolutions from last year. I said, as soon as it's fall and winter weather, that lazy, cold weather you just want to be in your aritzia boyfriend set we're done with that we're not doing that anymore because it just makes me feel so blah it doesn't make me feel inspired at all because you're so comfy and then when you think of getting into an outfit like this you're like i don't want to do that that takes so much effort so you have to switch your mindset to be like i feel good in these outfits i don't feel good in those outfits I just, I can't, I seriously cannot live in that for a long time. I notice it just drains my personality. It drains my motivation to get dressed up. I literally went through with that rule. Like I stuck to it. And even if I didn't get dressed up every time I went to the grocery store, for example, I still put on an outfit. You know what I mean? I haven't worn my crew neck sweatshirts in like a long time. It's funny because I'll go up with my parents and my mom's like, oh my God, you're so dressed up. And I'm like, yeah, because that's what gets me up. That's what gets me going. And it just, it makes me feel good. Like, if we're just going to a casual restaurant, I still get looking cute. Like, I still get dressed up. I think I'm going to film another reel right now so that I can get two looks done in one shot so that I have content for tomorrow, but then also content for, like, early next week. And I'm also filming right now, so I'm vlogging. I'm also filming outfit looks, and I'm also editing a vlog. It's a lot. And I'm also planning for a haul, and then I'm also planning for another haul. It's just, it's a lot. It's a lot, y'all, okay? a lot for one person i'm just one person i want to tell you guys a story i'm just getting ready to go for a walk but i want to tell you guys a story so i've been seeing like these um me and jess were at winners yesterday and i've been seeing these bombers right and they're like more elevated more sophisticated very clean looking and i'm headed to the um i'm headed at the fitting room right and i'm like oh my god just what's that on the rack so i go run i go grab it and it's very nice and plain but it's like that fleece teddy type of material I'm like, you know what? That's what I've been looking for. And it was like in a cream. I'm going to go and just try it on. I got it in a large, whatever. 
And I was like, but here's the thing. I have one coming from um, Shein. Like, they're just like too similar. And I know myself, I'm not going to pick, like, I'm not going to use both of them. And she's like, honestly, since you like the way this one looks on you, she's like, chances are you're not going to like the Shein one. And I'm like, why? And she's like, because like Shein is like, it's not that great. Like Jessica doesn't shop too much through Shein like I do. And, um, and she's like, you know, I've ordered uh, stuff from them and I've got it. And like, it's just not good quality. And I'm like... That's because you've never shopped my recommendations. Like, I know that about Chi, and I know that there's a ton of pieces that are super cheap, super affordable, and you receive them, and you're like, what the hell? Those were my first few orders from them, where I'm like, I can't make a lot of this shit work. Like, what do you want me to do with this, right? But over time, I've just gotten so good with, like, picking the fabrics and all that stuff, right? And looking at this photo, I'm like, if this is exactly what I think this jacket's going to be like, it's going to be stunning. Like, it really is. But she was kind of getting in my head a little and I was like, you know what, mm, she might be right. Like if I like this, I don't want to lose it. And, but it's so funny because like, for example, Jessica hasn't had a good experience with them. But at the end of the day, I told her, I'm like, just tell me when you're ordering stuff from them. She's like placed the orders on her own. And I'm like, tell me when you're ordering through them. And I will like let you know, like if it's good or not. You know? But I get the bomber jacket today and I'm like, this is stunning. Thank God I listened to my Shein gut because I am telling you right now, this jacket is stunning. But I just wanted to give you guys like a little backstory. It's, I get that like a lot of people don't have a good experience with them. But I think that's why you have to find videos that you trust. I know, baby. We need to go for a walk. I know. Tell them. Show them how cute you look in your harness. Oh my God, look at me, guys. I in my harness. Yeah, I go for a walk with my mommy. This girl is actually very patient, man. Like, she's so, so patient. She my princess girl. Say hi, guys. Oh, I love you. Are you going to go for a walk? Yeah? You going to go for a walk with mommy? Okay, let's go. You going to see snow? There's no snow today. You're going to see snow and doggies? Doggy. Hi, doggy. Hey, you have to be nice to doggies. Your first real snowfall. I gotta throw it. I gotta throw it. I gotta throw it. I gotta throw it. <laughs> Go in the snow. Go in the snow. Go in the snow. Go in the snow. Go in the snow, Nella. Yeah, good job. You a fun girl. <laughs> Mood? Well, hello, babes. It's been um, a minute, and as you can probably tell by my voice, the last time I spoke to you guys was before I got sick, so I ended up catching something, and I think it was from someone at the gym. <coughs> the girl started coughing, and I remember like picking up my water bottle and being like, and then I just kind of like went about my day because I'm like, what am I supposed to do now? Like she literally just coughed, like it's a little too late now, you know? Like the droplets are already like flying in the air and they're like, I'm coming to get you. Like it's, it's too late. And here my sister's like right beside her on the bike and I'm just like, and sure enough, literally like that night I was great. The day after I was great, I was talking to you guys, I was vlogging and I went with her like on a long ass walk and we were great and then I got home and like something changed. Just keep in mind I'm like supposed to be getting back to work like after me taking time off. I'm like ready to get back into it. I'm booking stuff. I'm like right getting in my planner and I'm like writing my stuff and I'm like girl you ain't going nowhere. We just finished filming a winter haul for you guys. I was like today is the day I'm getting back at it because I can't be on myself any longer. Like, I'm not that type of person that can lay down. I'm a doer. I'm a mover. Like, I can't do that. It was killing me softly. But I wanted to show you guys what I got in that Shein package because remember I told you guys about the jacket where Jessica was like, I don't think you're gonna like the Shein one. I think you're gonna like the winner's one. This is the one over here. 
So I wanted to get a really nice, kind of like elevated, more sophisticated like bomber jacket that looks more classy. This really exceeded my expectations. I'm almost afraid to show it to you guys because it is sold out. But it's a knitted bomber. It's crazy. I've never seen anything like this before. And you have like the collar, which is like super soft. Also got these guys over here. So I have these on right now, but I can kind of cover them. So I got these like button kind of like massive earrings. I really want to order these in the gold. I ended up looking again and I came across this one that's kind of like a tie waistcoat and it doesn't have any buttons or anything and it kind of just looks like a robe. <clears throat> oh god, my throat was like giving out. I want to do like a gray and cream kind of outfit. Might do that today since I don't have to use my voice for that. But I ended up getting this coat as well. I ended up getting this turtleneck from them because I have the black but I feel like I really needed a cream one especially to do the gray look. And then I almost forgot this little belt that I'm wearing here with this sweater which I love this sweater too. So this was in the winter haul I just finished filming. But love this belt. It is so cute you guys. It's a little accent belt that you unhook and then you can also make it longer by like pulling it and then smaller by pulling it like this. But it's so pretty, you guys. Like, so, so, so nice. I'm about to film this look in a reel. I really want to do this look. So it's like a cream and black look. I love this coat. I always get questions on it when I wear it in my reels. And it is from H&M. But we have our classic um, gold and black belt from Shein. We have, uh, these are Old Navy. The sweater is Shein, Shein. The pointed boots with my beautiful girl over here. You're being such a good girl. I put these sunglasses with it and I did this hair look with the black headband. I feel like it looks so nice. My chunky gold earrings. I did the bottom like in a cream because I didn't want it to be all black because I just did a black on black look. And I feel like this hairdo is so cute. First of all, this headband is from the dollar store and it's nice and wide. I feel like I'm getting a lot done when I should be resting, so I need to be careful of that, you know? I just made this carrot walnut bread. I actually used a recipe from Pinterest because if you know, you know, I hate baking. I'm horrible at it because I cannot follow a recipe for the life of me. I just can't. Like, when every time I cook, I just do not cook with a recipe. So with baking, you really have to or else it's going to be a disaster. I really crave something at nighttime, like with my either my tea or my coffee. So I feel like this is perfect. I've also cut them in halves, as you guys can see, so I'm not having a full massive slice. And I feel like at the same time, it's still a healthy dessert because everything's organic inside of here. It has your nuts, it has your carrots and everything. So it's still a fairly healthy dessert to have instead of going for something bad. Hello, babes. I'm ready for the gym. Jessica's on her way. I'm also gonna pack her some of my carrot bread. Anyways, what I was saying was I packed her some because she always comes to the gym and like stops somewhere and I was like joking about it in my last vlog but it really isn't a joke like there's no point in going to the gym if you're gonna like go to Starbucks and like eat 500 calories and then you're gonna eat a bunch of other calories like what is the actual point you're really not like making even a dent in your like routine you know what I mean yeah I figured if she does like this I want to show her that like it's good to have this as a drink and she can be drinking it on the way there's no excuse about being late or anything like Protein shakes are such a great way to just get your protein in, get your calories in, get your energy. This is perfect right before a workout, first of all. Second of all, it's good to have a little extra after. It's good to have it during. I just want to give her that idea and like maybe a little extra push and motivation that if you do a protein shake, which she's had them before, but I wonder if I should bring her a bottle and then like just make it for her. Sometimes doing something like this will motivate your friend or your sibling because, you know, Jessica's not really into this like fitness health life. So sometimes people just don't know where to start and it's so overwhelming. It is so overwhelming. And then you see like other people like your peers and stuff and you're like, oh, like she already knows all this stuff. And it kind of discourages you sometimes. I can just imagine. And I remember looking up to other people and being like, oh God, like, I feel like I'm so far away from that, you know, but you're not far away from it. You just have to take that step and you'll find your way to it because I started off like that too, like I just said. Hopefully she likes it and hopefully it just gives her an idea, fills her up in the morning so that she doesn't have to get bad stuff right before the gym because there's just no point in working out if your diet is just not going to be good, you know, like... People don't want to hear that, but like, there really is not that much of a point.
sweat. I like this brand. Get this stuff. Sweet sweat. I can't see it. I don't know. This what sweet, on. sweet sweat. Don't don't pull down too far now. <laughs> they will see your garden. Or like a forest. <laughs> or a jungle. Got some swinging vines too. <laughs> swinging vines? Girl, I ain't, I ain't got no vines. I ain't got no leaves. I ain't got no nothing. Then you got no entertainment. <laughs> Just finished making this soup, you guys. I've never made this soup before, but I came across it on Pinterest and it's called Chinese corn soup. I saw it and I was like saving it, definitely gonna be making it. I just came back from the grocery store and grabbed everything that I was missing. And oh my God, you guys, it is exactly what I need today. I feel so lazy today and I don't wanna do anything. And I just wanted a really nice, simple, hearty soup. And it's just so good. I don't know if you guys have ever tried this before, let me know. There's also egg in here, corn, green onion, chicken breast. Um, the base is literally water, bouillon, a little bit of olive oil. I'll leave the recipe for you guys, but such a quick and easy recipe, and I just cannot wait to eat this. Okay, I'm making a breakfast, you guys, that I want to show you because I've been making it for over like two weeks now, and I've been obsessed. I feel like if you're bored with breakfast and you do feel like cooking that morning, I definitely recommend this. I'm putting it on like low medium, especially with stainless steel, you cannot heat up your pans too crazy. That's like the biggest difference I've noticed in switching. Okay, so I'm gonna drop in the egg now. Normally with this breakfast, people like to put the feta first. I just find it depends how much fat your feta has because if it has that, it won't stick. But I just find that I've been liking putting the egg before the cheese. I'm gonna grab some feta cheese that has already been kind of crumbled and you're just gonna like frame around it. Again, make sure it's not like crazy high. Then we're gonna put some salt over top. And you're gonna grab some pepper flakes. Mine, I don't know why I thought this, but I thought that when I bought these pepper flakes that they were not spicy. <laughs> and I thought that they were like sweet pepper. Is that dumb of me? But like, I really thought that they were. So I'm not gonna put too much because they definitely have some heat to it. Is just grab our top and we're gonna let it cook away. We're gonna close that up and we're gonna work on the rest of it. So you're gonna notice that it gets like brown around the edges. I just wanna move the egg to the center a little bit more. But our egg is pretty much almost done. And I'm just gonna move it off to the side. Next, we're gonna take some avocado and you're already just gonna use your fork to mash it up. This is a multi-grain like mini morning morning round pitas and we're just going to literally just like butter that on as if you're making an avocado toast do you want to use a toast that's gonna like keep its shape but i've also seen this done with a tortilla as well tortilla you kind of like make it into almost like a taco shape while you're eating it because it won't hold this together so and we're gonna put her over top I'm actually gonna be adding honey i'm Trying to like use up this honey and you just literally finish it off by drizzling some honey over top basically as a sweetness and while you're eating it you get the heat you get the sweetness from the honey you get the saltiness from the feta this is just such a good breakfast and honestly it doesn't take me a long time so even when I don't really feel like cooking I kind of do go for this now instead of getting this planner you guys from Amazon is so cute I love a planner that has a space for notes because anything I'm thinking that month, maybe I want to bring into the next month, I can write it down over there. Like any monthly thoughts I have, or if I just want to like lay out everything I have for that month, I tend to use that page. So I've already started to put what I have for the month of January. And as you guys know, my history with planners, not so great, <laughs> not, not so great. But the idea of just being more organized sounds amazing. And I'm not the type of girl that can like organize my calendar on my phone like I just I can't I get that it's 2024 but some of us just don't work that way so if you guys are looking for one honestly I definitely would recommend this I wanted to do like a content calendar where like you know Valentine's Day is coming up okay what do you need to prepare for Valentine's Day I feel like I have booked so many things in my email and that's why I'm like, you need to take out your planner because at this point, I'm being honest with you, I need to go on my planner and be like, what have you said yes to? Because 
that happens all the time you guys i say yes to this person i say yes to that person a lot of people i say no to a lot of them a lot of emails honestly i look at them and i just delete them to be honest with you because sometimes they're just so out of like my content i always look and give everyone a chance that's one thing i do so if you ever like have a business you end up in my email and stuff like that i always look at your website and i do look at the product but sometimes when it's just it just doesn't match me at all i'm like i i genuinely don't have the time to be like okay blah blah, blah. like i just don't you know so a lot of emails i'm not gonna lie i do like ignore because they just make zero sense for me to post about them yeah like you have to be picky about you know what you think your audience is going to get value from what you think they're going to enjoy and if you don't think they're going to enjoy this product or that product doesn't even align at all with your channel and your audience and just your vibe how am i supposed to get on camera and be like oh my god i just i don't know i i don't have that in me so um can't do it someone was curious how i do my thumbnails so for example this was an old thumbnail let me just show you guys like i'll undo everything this was an old thumbnail i do use pick monkey and i do um pay for the upgrade because it allows you to remove the background off of things um which is very important because it allows me to really make a lot of custom like changes so basically i'm using this as like a template because the text is already here and stuff like that this time i want it to be kind of like black but neutral with whites and everything i'm going to change the color of the text to black Every thumbnail kind of has its own theme and sometimes this font will work. You can also upload your own fonts over here. I'm going to upload all of these photos, so basically screenshots that I've taken from my video. I decided to take a um, clip of this and if you upgrade and you remove the background, now I go in and I choose um, which thumbnail I'm going to be using and this is kind of how I start the thumbnail um, and then depending on which one I choose that's when I start layering with stuff like this you know what I mean and I start putting all the items so for example I kind of like I really like that one so if I click remove background it's just going to give me me I'll show you guys what this goes from and what it turns into in the end but I do use Pick Monkey, and I feel like honestly, everyone learns like different tricks as like you get used to it and stuff like that. I'm so excited, but also nervous at the same time. I want to make scones so bad, and I'm craving them so bad. It seems like a fairly easy recipe. I did find one that I feel like I'm going to follow. I am not a baker, so I'm very nervous about this. So we're gonna add three cups of flour. I already made the cream that's sitting inside the fridge, so I'm so excited. I love having these scones with the typical like English cream. We do need half a tablespoon of salt, half a cup of sugar, half a cup-ish. I think that's a little bit more than half a cup. It says five tablespoons, or sorry, five teaspoons of baking powder, but that seems like a lot. One, two, Three. This is what makes it rise, right? Like, I'm not a baker whatsoever. Quick mix. Now, it says that it's so important to make sure that your butter is super cold. It says to grate your butter so that it kind of just, um, or grate it um, so that it is not like in massive chunks. Or you can just cut it up if you want. I know that that looks full, but it's pretty like fluffy and grated. A little extra butter never hurt anybody's baking, so. Now you're supposed to mix the butter and the flour until your flour and your butter kind of create this like crummy texture. I need to put some more inside of here until I get that crumbliness. Okay, next you need to put one cup. I am using um, whole milk. Also add in your egg. So confident when I cook, but when I bake, Bro, I'm shaky. <laughs> I'm also gonna add my vanilla inside of here. We're gonna add in our wet mixture. You gotta use your hands, girl. It smells just like a scone, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna bring this guy over. You wanna do mostly like 
folding a lot like you want to bring it together but you don't want to like over mix it but you definitely want to bring it to like a solid form you know what i mean the texture feels really good okay i don't have a rolling pin you guys but i have this guy so i have my baking sheet over here ready and it has a little bit of olive oil in it this half inch thick round it's a little bit more than half inch thick right now so okay we're gonna cut them into round because honestly i do want that so i'm just gonna go right on the edge over here oh my god i hope you turn out amazing please i have a lot of hopes for you please 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 try not to waste as much dough as possible see how like when you line it with the flour it comes out way easier let's see if we can get one right over here okay our last one we have them on the baking sheet over here let's see what these beautiful guys are going to turn out like you're supposed to some people they put milk over top but i find that they tend to get a little bit brown and I don't really like need them to do that. So I think I'm just gonna leave it alone, honestly. You guys, they're looking like scones. It's so crazy because I, I'm telling you, I don't have much faith in my baking. Oh my God, I'm so proud of these. So if you're gonna see how they're not brown at the top, I don't like when mine are like golden brown on the top. Plus I took out the one that like I was, the, obviously I knew was not gonna turn out like the prettiest shape. I took it out just to taste it and they were moist on the inside so I don't want to overdo this just to get it a tiny bit golden but they look beautiful look at them oh my god I'm so proud of them the taste is really good you guys and they're really nice and moist they're not dry at all mm. oh my god I cannot believe I did it I love when there's powdered sugar on them oh my god so good so I actually made this cream yesterday. There's different recipes. There's one called Devonshire cream, clotted cream. There's just so many like names for this cream and you can make them different ways. I kind of did it over my stovetop and then I put it um, in the fridge throughout the night. And it's just this beautiful, thick, cool cream that goes inside. So this is how I like to have my scones. The organic strawberry jam that I picked up yesterday. You can also mix the cream with the strawberry jam and it turns into like this pink little spread. I feel like this is such a cute dessert also for Valentine's Day. That's why I wanted to get like the heart um, molds, but I just couldn't find it. But I think that'd be so, so cute, even to do with your kids. And then you're literally gonna grab your cream and just put it over top and just let it, oh, just let it do its thing. This is my favorite like i have been craving this so damn bad i can't even tell you okay let's try this together i can't believe i made these scones myself like wow mm, that hit the spot my cream is a little bit different because i did use cream cheese but you're supposed to just do like heavy cream Plus, it gives you like strawberry shortcake vibe. So when you do put a little bit of cream cheese. Mm. So right now I'm just in heaven. Like I'm in heaven. Oh my God, this cream. I just want to like scoop it and eat. I can do even just the scone with just the cream. Like even if I didn't have strawberry jam, I'd be good. The first time making scones, I'm blown away even by themselves they were so good and you can do different things like blueberry scones raspberry if that's your thing you can do orange like there's so many things and you can also make savory ones too oh my god like y'all look at that drip of cream mm -mm -mm. not really like a sweet tooth type of person so i'll make something like for example i was like craving that like crazy like i just said to you guys but now that i've had just half of the scone just the way i liked it with the cream and the strawberry as soon as i have that i'm like okay that's enough like i can only handle so much sweetness in my palate i'll be shocked if tonight i still want that with my coffee like i would be very shocked good morning babes so it's 
11.07, I've already had my breakfast and today normally I go with Jessica to the gym but she decided that she has like other things going on today and I was like, you know what, you can either skip it out with her or you're not going to get your workout in today so I'm like, I'm going to get my workout in today so I have my little workout outfit on, just have a t-shirt, I have sports bra underneath, I have my black flared leggings that I love, these are so comfortable and they're starting to feel a little bit, tiny bit bigger which is great, we love that, you know what I'm saying, girl, watch yourself. Um, doing a workout, figured I would share with you guys that you can still get an incredible workout. One, if you don't have the money for the gym, um, it's inconvenient for you to go to the gym if you're a mom or just a student, maybe you work a lot, maybe you don't have a gym near you. There's so many reasons why people, it's hard for them to get to the gym, but the reality is at the end of the day, what no one wants to tell you to your face and I'm gonna tell you is that there's no excuses. You have a floor that you can do a workout on and let me tell you, you just need simple things. Even if you don't have resistance bands, if you can't buy them right now or whatever the case may be, you don't absolutely need these to have a good workout. But if you can grab these or if you already have them and you don't use them, take them out of the closet, girl. Take them out of your gym bag that's collecting dust in the closet. Because I know you haven't taken that shit out in like months. Take it out. You deserve it. Okay, these resistance bands are way better than the rubber ones because those ones tend to like curl when as soon as you go down It's like and it like curls up um, and then this is just a dish towel a hand towel This I use to get a very good workout in it is crazy This basically mimics like those Pilates machines, you know, where like they're on the machine and They kind of open up their leg obviously I've shown you guys in the past like me doing that workout, but I love that workout and it kills your inner thigh, it's great for your legs, it's great for your bum, it's great for your hips, it's a great stretch for it. You can go slow, you can go faster, you can do less reps. I'll say, I haven't been finding it hard for me to get off my ass and move, which is very strange because like looking at the snow outside, it should be like the last thing on your mind that you want to do. You want to just cozy up and you don't even want to do any work or anything. but. I feel like because I've been staying active, it's been keeping me like, all right, let's go. You feel great, you look great, like you know you're doing good. So it's just that motivator. You have to be your own motivator. I lost my train of thought because again, I have a dory brain. So I don't know, but anyways, just because it's the winter, I know a lot of us get like really, really lazy, but you don't have to do a 45 minute workout, an hour workout. People go all in when they're trying to go active again or they're trying to get active again. And I'm like, oh, big mistake. I know someone specifically that just like goes all in and I it never works out. And they keep doing the same shit over and over and over and over and over again. And I'm like, girl, haven't you seen that it doesn't work after like the 60th time? You have to change what's not working. If that hour workout is just too much for you, stop doing it. Maybe you just need to start with 15 minutes and trust me, you're gonna be like, Wow, that was easy. Next time do 20 minutes, add five minutes on. Another thing, you do not have to be dripping with sweat. So get that out of your head. You don't have to be dripping of sweat and you also at the end of the workout, don't have to be like dying and hunched over. So get rid of those things out of your head. That is going to seriously deter you away from actually being active ever again because those things are negative thoughts, right? Like people associate those things with negative thoughts. Like, oh my God, I'm always dead after it. I have no energy after it. I'm always sweating. And they try to come up with all these negative things. And I feel like making your workout shorter, making it more consistent, maybe dedicating or scheduling on your thing, just like you schedule your nails, your eyebrows, your lashes, for you to go shopping, you can schedule a 15, 20 minute workout. Like we know you can definitely do that, right? The things I tell myself, I'm not like talking down to you guys. I'm like, I'm telling myself these things. I feel like that just kind of puts me in my own place. You know what I mean? When I'm like, oh, I don't feel like it. I'm like, no, you're gonna do it. Cause you make time for everything else. You make time to order food. You make time to go get your nails done, to go do your other fun stuff. So you can do this and you can make it fun too. So long story short, I like to have these chats with you guys because sometimes people need to hear it. Sometimes it's the motivation that they need to motivate themselves. If you don't like to hear me blabbering about it, you can always skip these chats, but I know a lot of girls, they need that extra motivation. I always have to give myself a pep talk. So, so yeah, you don't need much, okay? Get in your headphones, get in your zone, play your music. I have some 10 pound dumbbells. You don't have to buy a bunch of 40, 50, 20 pound dumbbells. 
Baby, mommy can't play right now. Mommy, go work out. I go work out. I go work out. Mommy had to look cute. So I can look cute like you. Okay? Okay. Siri, play nature sounds. I love playing this right before the shower because it's so calming. You come out of the shower and all you hear are these nature sounds. Because if you're ever trying to like relax and work, oh, you'll love it. And funny enough, Nyla actually sleeps to this. <laughs> Something I want to like quickly talk about before I jump into the shower. Last year, I really had this moment where I'm like, I feel like I am thinking about this number I should be at, like a specific number I should be at. And I feel like at every number that that scale would tell me, I feel like it would affect me so much. I feel exhausted chasing a specific number I should be at. And I feel like I was giving it, giving that way too much power. Isn't that the whole part of being a freaking human being? Like just learning what's best for you. I'm still learning. I've done this like journey for years and years and years. And I've learned so much, but I've also learned that certain things work for me and certain things don't. I think that having a range is really good. And if you have a goal, that's very good. I just need to be active. I just need to find workouts that I enjoy doing. And that's what I did. You know what? At the end of the day, I'm going to start looking different in the mirror. And if the scale is just not my way of like, some people find the scale super motivating. And it is until it doesn't say what you want it to say until the scale starts confusing you because the scale will confuse you at some point. It will mess with you. And if you already have like a bad history with the scale and like weight and being at a certain number, I've always said that you can follow the scale or you can follow the mirror or you can follow both. The mirror is never gonna lie to you. Your body's either changing from working out and changing your diet or it's not. Like you're physically gonna see it. The problem is, is with the scale, we tend to Okay, I've worked so hard. I've done everything I need to do. Okay, that scale's gonna say exactly what I want to say, and it doesn't. And that can cause some serious problems up here because you're like, wait a second. I feel like the scale is just right now a negative thing for me. It's been a negative thing for me lately. I think it's because I'm a perfectionist. And when I don't see that, like in my mind, I'm supposed to be going a certain way. I just focused on staying active. I focused on my calorie intake because at the end of the day, if you're doing both of those things, you're on track, okay? At the end of the day, doesn't matter what that thing says. If you are on a calorie deficit, you are staying active, you're Gucci. And maybe in a way, I'm saving myself from all that depression that that causes when that scale doesn't say exactly what I want it to say, you know? So I don't know if some of you guys can relate or maybe someone needs to hear this, but I just think that life is too short to be chasing a number and maybe it's the stage that I'm at in my life. I have other priorities and my priority is not to get to a certain weight. It's just not. Like I, I don't, I don't want that to be a priority to me. I want my happiness. I want balance in my life. I want, again, to stay active. I want to clean up my diet. I want to be healthy for myself. I'm five foot one and I've seen girls shorter than me. I've seen girls my height. I've seen girls one inch higher than my height. 
being at like 160, which to me, in my head that already has trauma with that number, I'm thinking, oh my God, when I was 160, oh my God, oh no, I was so freaking bad. Like, hell no, I would never want to go back there. But she looks so fit. So you see how if you truly don't have a good relationship with that scale, or maybe it's just not for you, how that can mess with you. It's this unhealthy thing to do with that number. Some days I'm like, am I wrong for that? But my gut tells me no. My gut tells me no. This is just where you're at right now. You're not wrong for not wanting to chase a number right now. You didn't like that all your energy was going there. And that's okay. Different strokes for different folks. I had this thought while I was in the shower and I was like, oh, let me like just add to what I was saying. So I noticed that I would get on the scale and then like I would like... I think when you're actually really taking in what you're saying, like now I'm really taking in what I'm about to say. And that shit makes me so sad. I would get on the scale and I would like inspect my body. If you're new here, I'm a crybaby. So if you don't like it, I'm sorry. I'm an emotional person. But it just makes me so sad that like I would inspect my body right after. Like I would like, I really don't like like my back, my back area and my arms. If you realize what you've actually been doing, I don't like that correlation of getting on the scale and then being like, oh, why does it say that? Oh, and then tearing myself apart in the mirror. It's been more of a negative than a positive thing for me. I feel like I can stay more focused and more balanced when that is not present. Oh, I didn't realize how like, how sad that was. Like getting on the scale and then like inspecting your body and then I just imagine like all the women that do that exact same thing. I feel like doing this job, I always have to have an answer. Like, I feel so much like responsibility and like, I don't have the perfect answer for every single person, but I just know that that's not a healthy habit for me to have. I'm really trying to like change that habit of like constantly inspecting myself. Like, I know I have such a, like I could eat something and then look completely different. Or if it's two weeks before my period, I like, forget it. I look completely different. My face gets super full. I get super bloated. Like focus on staying active, focus on staying healthy and whatever it is that you're trying to work towards it will come because you're actively doing things to get there maybe i really didn't want to say that out loud and maybe saying it out loud like was like yeah that was unhealthy stuff <clears throat> all right guys i'm in the car right now because i want to go to home sense and i have three packages i think at my mailbox that i need to go pick up i'm wearing the jacket it's a little bit dark down here and i freaking forgot my scarf upstairs and it's been freezing if you live in alberta i am so sorry on like i don't know how you guys are handling minus 40 it's been minus 12 here and i'm like okay nyla time to go inside like i'll take her out just to take her out I'm done. So I don't know how you guys are doing minus 40. That is just not livable. Like, I, I don't know. So God bless you because I could never. Jesus Christ, minus 40. I'm looking for like a very small makeup bag. I just want one that's like, this is what you use all the time when you do your face. I feel like I want a little bit more of a larger everyday bag. We're going to see if we can find something. So let's go pick up my packages. Thank you so much. Okay, babes, we are here. I do like Marshalls when it comes to, like, bags and fashion a little bit more. I find that, like, they'll have, like, coach bags sometimes just sitting there. And I don't know. We're going to see what they have over here. There's also a winner's right across. So that's why I kind of like this plaza, too, because if you don't find something here, then I go there a second. We also got our first errand done. Picked up my packages. And I always love to bring my tote with me, so shout out to you if you have one of these. I so much because now I'm going to take out these packages and then bring this bag inside with me. Look what well people sent me. I already kind of opened it up. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, they sent me a lip product, which I love. I already took one out, but they sent me this lip product. It's supposed to feel like a lip oil, and it honestly does. I took out the more, like, nudish color, but I do like the applicator. It's, like, kind of chubby, which I like because the skinny ones, you're there, like... I like that it's like a pinky, pinky type of nude. These tend to look really nice on me, but then there's also like a chocolatey brown. Oh, by the way, it's minus three, so it's not too bad, but I'm definitely going to cover my chest when I exit the car. 
and I also want to make like Kylo a little Valentine's Day kind of bag I like to do like an Easter basket for him and I might do like a Valentine's why well, I'm gonna do a Valentine's thing for him so I'm gonna see if I can find something here maybe they have like Valentine's Day stuff for kids they have these running shoes and I'm like Amy isn't he an eight and she's like by springtime he's gonna be a nine I'm like what in the how can he have a foot this big? I didn't end up finding a bag because they didn't really have much. Honestly, it looked kind of empty. They did have those two coach bags and they had like a coach tote, but a tote, I don't know, it's not quite what I'm looking for. Honestly, I might just end up getting like the Birkin, like obviously designer dupe from um, DH Gate. I actually ordered one. It says light khaki, but you know how like when you order from those places, like sometimes it comes and then you're like, Oh, this is like khaki to you, you know? What I ended up getting was this set for Kylo. And then it comes with this little tropical long sleeve. I love him in these like earth tones. He's a Taurus, so he looks amazing in his little earth tones. I got me looking for a bag and like stuff for my dog and I buy my godson stuff. So I ended up getting these Reeboks for him. I ended up getting a 10, you guys. And they're so cute. They're black and white, so they go with everything. And then I ended up getting these guys for Nyla. She loves them. And then I got these guys, but I need my dad to cut them with his saw. Way more worth it. Then I got this little dental set because the brush I have for Nyla is like when she was a baby. I ran out of um, poop bags. It doesn't look like I got much for myself. This is looking like a Nyla Kylo haul. This is not looking like a... That's all I got. I didn't have a makeup bag either. They had like this guest bag with brown, but it was just too big. I'm looking for one that can kind of open like this so that I can just see everything in front of my face. The shopping bag is once again filled with stuff for my godson and my dog. You know, so I got Kylo this um, <laughs> Spider-Man tent. You know, I'm pretty much the clothes. I'm in charge of the clothes. So when it comes to toys, I'm always like, this is so dumb. Like he's not gonna use this. He's not gonna like this. Like, so I feel like with this tent, it's very like interactive. And Amy says that he is going to love it. I also got Nyla some treats. also got Kylo these organic. I love this brand. This is the, the brand that I found those oatmeal cookie ones. Oh, so good. But they didn't have the oatmeal today. But they had the apple. And he loves apple. And then she gives him the bar. And it makes him feel like he's a big boy, you know? Like he feels like a bodmon, you know? But yeah, I didn't find anything of what I was looking today. I've just decided that when it comes to the makeup bag, I'm just buying it on Amazon. And my Shein haul actually just went live right now. So I was posting about it. But we got a comment. Love you, girl. <laughs> girl, you better watch yourself. Love you too, girl. Hope you love the haul. I really love this haul because it's like going winter into springtime and then when it gets to like springish I'll go spring into like summer type of thing. I already know I love my Shein stuff. I was waiting for this video, thank you. Uh, been loving, loving, loving this jacket. It's actually been so warm you guys. I think because I already have a sweater underneath but it's been so nice and cozy and I'm actually not cold at all. I mean I'm Canadian so minus, minus two, minus three to me is like... I think I'm going to take my ass home right now. I got... My Amazon package, I've been really missing my like electrolytes in my water. This one actually, funny enough, contains, you know a lot of them say like, doesn't have any added sugar and everyone feels like that that's like a must have thing. So apparently you need sugar to, they've done studies, you need sugar for electrolytes to actually be absorbed into your body. So all these like no sugar added ones, your body will still absorb it. It says that they've done like studies that it'll still absorb it, but just not as efficiently as if you had the sugar present for it to absorb so that's kind of interesting and this one's by the brand lean fit electrolyte mix i did get the lemon flavor i noticed that they didn't have any other flavors for their electrolytes but sometimes they can taste so bad 
but I've been missing my collagen and I really want my hair to grow honestly because I feel like the length that it's at like it was a really nice change but I feel like I want my hair like back to like I feel like this is like my perfect length oh thank god it's good okay um I ended up getting my favorite bra in a medium in the like nude color this is by honey love this is their v-neck bra you guys i do have a coupon code with them it's stephanie macedo and you guys will save 10 percent off even if their stuff is on sale you'll get an extra discount but i love this bra but the large is a little bit too big on me now like, but i love this bra if you guys are looking for a seamless bra i am telling you this is such an amazing investment like it's so nice if you're looking for one I'll link it down below got that tomorrow i'm seeing, seeing kylo after two weeks it's been really killing me. I've been FaceTiming him all week and <laughs> he doesn't want to get off the phone. He, Amy sent me a video where he gets up from his nap, he drinks his milk and he goes, Nini, Nini. He just calls my name. Like Amy's like, Steph, when this man sees you, he's going to faint because he has been saying your name nonstop. He's going to be so excited and so happy. So it is the next day and I got my little makeup bag i decided to go with this one so i ended up going with this one over here very nice and simple but the zipper went down far enough so that when it opens the bag kind of opens like this like when it's on your counter because i was afraid it was going to go like this and i don't want to have to like dig through the bag on this side you have like pockets for palettes like my bronzers and stuff like that and then on this side this was the other reason why i chose it because it has the mesh over here so i'm able to put my brushes into there this bag is absolutely perfect it's literally what i was looking for whoa can you can you put it up here put it up here oh thank you so much you're such a big boy tina brought scones for you to try you want to try it can you say yeah 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 you're gonna eat it with dina Okay, let's see what's in here. Okay, try this one. Try this one. Wow. That's called a scone. You wanna you wanna try it? Oh, just yep, yeah, just bite into it. Mmm, is it good? Thumbs up. Go oh Google. You want a song? Uh -huh. Google. He's like, Alexa, are you there? Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. Oh, oh. Alexa, play Kid Zone's Jingle Bells. Jingle Bells by Kid Zone's uh -huh. from Apple Music. Hi, Lou, it's not Christmas anymore. Uh -huh. Oh, oh, it's still ho ho? Okay. Uh -huh. oh, you're so beautiful. Oh my god. What's my name? Mimi. Mimi. Go inside, go inside. Oh. Oh, here's your Spider-Man. You forgot. <laughs> Is he over here? Is he over here? Is he over here? What about over here? <laughs> Me? I'm waiting for my door to be open. <laughs> well, lucky you. He, he can keep talking all he wants, but oh, old. thank you. I was just, I was, oh, thank you so much. Oh, are you I'm waiting for me? Yeah. Dad, mom, mom's like, what is he talking about? I said, I don't know, but I'm waiting for my door to be open. <laughs> I said, I'll get my own. <laughs> I was just wondering who was your well, I heard I heard babies. I guess yeah. my coffee is not gonna be made today. Oh, see, they got used to. I forgot. That's guess it. not. You see? Yeah, but she does the same thing, so hey. I don't think. Uh -huh. I don't know, but thank you. The door. Well, with this cup, this cup is larger. The door, the coffee. I like it today. What is it? The tamal, tamal. 
So, fire and drink, that's it. You find the one, yeah, Malik Stimala. Yeah, find a No, I put it on mom's plate. Do you want What did you get? Oh, sorry, sorry. I have 5%. It's this. like a BLT. Yeah, BLT with avocado. What? What is this one? There's no difference in the goose, Dad. The only difference is just no the hormones and no Ooh. antibiotics. Yeah. What? Go ahead, say it. It's a kind of fifty something. Yeah, my favorite is the fucking bar. That's dangerous. Ain't nobody gonna take it. <laughs> Are you gonna take it? But that's dangerous. Are you trying to say it? I don't know. I told you. Please don't ever. The Brazilian guy, you know. That's good. That's all you ever get. What can I say? I do a clean mess and cut. Stop kissing me. But why would he run? Not him getting in his car and being like, see ya buddy. There's a problem with the subject. I want to show you guys what I wore to go to breakfast with my parents. So I have my cream scarf, which I love. I literally have had this scarf for years. I want to say at least three years. And then I have my Amazon sweater coat by Grace Karen. I love this coat so much. It was actually on sale for you guys. Um, on the US side and then this sweater is from the new haul that I posted I love this sweater so much I feel like it's gonna be great for going into spring because it's still like medium kind of thickness this it's oversized just super cozy and then I have my Old Navy um, pants these are actually sold out and then my boots are from Shein I feel like the cream and camel just look so nice together there's just something so rich Oh yeah, and then I also have these little earrings from H&M. We did a little shopping, ladies! I want to show you guys what I ended up getting. I pretty much found everything that I was kind of looking for, so we are... Okay, so first I went to H&M, and I was looking for something that Amy was looking for, but also something for me, and I didn't find it. I ended up getting this set for Kylo because... We just love seeing him in like Spider-Man stuff and because I got him the tent, he has Spider-Man PJs. By the way, when I went over yesterday, the man acted like I came to life. Like I died and I, and I rose, you know? He just got so excited. And Nene, Nene, that's what he said. And all day long, if I wasn't within like six feet of him, like the man is obsessed with me, okay? I'm not saying I'm not enjoying it. <laughs> Ever like, if I was like six feet away from him, he would like turn around, he'd be like, Nini? And I'm like, I'm right here. Like all day, I was like, I'm right here. And then towards the evening, nighttime, he knows, like he's so smart. He knows that it's time to like, it's gonna get closer time for him to take a bath and then he's gonna go to sleep and then I'm gonna leave. He knows that, so he gets more clingy to me. But when I'm around, I'm telling you right now, he doesn't want anybody else but me. Nini, Nini. I'm not gonna lie, it's, it, it's a good feeling. <laughs> Good feeling when your godson's like, you're my favorite. And when he, we gave him his bath, I love doing his hair. I love putting like the oils and the mask in his hair. Like I love brushing it out. So there was like one or two times when he was younger, he would cry. But now Amy's like, okay, Nini's gonna go home with her. He calls the dogs Dodo. So Nini's gonna go home with her Dodo. Oh yeah, he said bye bye. And then he goes, Vroom vroom with his hands. Vroom vroom. I said yes. Nini is gonna go bye bye, and I'm gonna go vroom vroom home. He said vroom vroom like you're gonna get in your car, and you're gonna go home. He is so smart. I closed the door and I went downstairs, and I'm like, this kid is so smart. Your grandpa bought you bones to so go. Who bought you your bone, grandpa? You love grandpa, right? Yeah, you love him. He's not coming here, baby. He's not coming here. My dad is her favorite. He is just too funny, man. And then Sephora. I wanted some things from Sephora. I was looking for a few things. And you know what? I figured that I would also um, get like a backup of this bronzer because I love this Mario bronzer. And then I got this Say um, Illuminator. This, I got the sample size. And I got the Star Glow color. It is just so gorgeous, you guys. This gives you like that very natural skin glow. That's how you know you love something, when you buy the sample and then it's like running out. Then I went OG with this and this is probably not clean and I'm just gonna ignore that. But this is the Naked 2 Basics palette. Y'all, does this not bring you back? This brings me back to my bedroom and my parents when I would do my makeup and I'd be in Amy's room and I'd be like, Amy, how do you do this? Like, this is like so nostalgic, it's crazy. But I really like my cool 
taupey brown eyeshadows. I've been like that for years. And then last but not least, I ended up going to Shoppers Drug Mart to pick up this NYX. I got the precision one because I love the tip. Let me show you guys the tip. But I know everyone is obsessed with the uh, micro one, but I feel like the micro one, you have to build your liner just too much. Okay, this is for brows, but I just feel like it's perfect as a liner, but I have it on this eye versus nothing on this eye. I feel like the brown is really soft for someone like me that doesn't want something. So I was like, you know what? Because I'm looking for like a new everyday bag. I was like, let me go into Bentley. I don't know if you guys have that in the States, but fun facts about Bentley, which is pretty freaking crazy, is I used to go to Bentley as a child with my mom and we would go there to shop for our backpacks. So I was like, you know what? I'm like, let me give them a chance. There's been such a wide gap since I've gone there. So they carry this very cute line. Like, stop right now. You're probably like, that's not a larger everyday black bag. So. Lo sé, pendeja. But you're not supposed to say that. You're supposed to say, Steph, you found another handbag? Oh my god, girl, show it to us. Okay, I'll show it to you. I ended up getting this one. The brand is Riona. But this one, for some reason, it just really like stood out to me. It looks extra expensive. The best part about this was the price. $29.99. But it was actually on sale for $35.99. Every time, shoulder bags, they always come down to here. And I'm like, girl, I, I don't have a four foot torso. I am five foot one. So I love that the shoulder strap actually hits me right underneath my armpit. It comes with the crossbody strap if you want to attach it and then it's split into two. Is there anything for free in there? I'm just joking. Like when it's on, it's just so cute. And then from the side, but that is all I got. I think I'm going to pack my makeup. Let's pack my little makeup bag. Looking at this, what's in front of me compared to my bag is dirty, so don't mind it. Like, I feel like I just scavenge through this thing as I'm doing my makeup, and it makes my makeup routine anytime I'm doing my face just so unenjoyable. When it comes to lips, I'm all over the place. I don't really have, like, a go-to right now except for the Merit, um, like, lip oil. There's a bunch of products in here that I don't even use, and I just feel like this is just... I also feel like this is when I was like trying things out and I was getting sent a lot of things too to try out So I was really figuring out my core stuff and I feel like I have that in front of me I still have the little sample bottle. So of course i'm gonna use this up before I go with this one But uh, we have our stay illuminator and then I love this concealer I do love the ilia one, but I am just such a stick kind of girl Like I love my sticks. I feel like they're so easy to use and I just love how creamy this one is and I love that it like it eventually becomes on an angle after using it but i love the stick love the color so that's my go-to concealer and then um i just skipped a step but anyways i use this on my face as like my foundation it's really just to like even out any redness on my face this is the c beyond triple serum spf 40 and it just has a tint and the tint that i have is tone two i love this because it's incredibly sheer imagine a serum that's tinted so it's like super super sheer i just don't like foundation on my face i just freaking hate it and then of course as you guys know my bronzer i have the one that i hit pen on and then i have the new one that i got in terms of blush i don't wear it all the time but i'm gonna put one blush inside of here when i do want the blush i've been really liking this one by ogi or og i don't know how you pronounce it this is a um organic brand they do organic makeup and i really like this like pinky color it looks really pretty it's nice and pigmented so i don't have to keep going at it and then i don't put on highlight every time but because this palette's small i will put it inside of here the name is off rms beauty this is their luminizer x quad and it has four different colors and i feel like i use these either on my lid when i'm not doing eyeshadow it just adds like some glow in your lid or i will do highlighter on my nose and the top of my lip i do love this ilia little brow um product i'm gonna put my nyx precision brow in there for my eyeliner i'm not going to use it on my brows and then we have the naked 2 palette we just bought and then i am going to put this in here this is technically a bronzer i don't use it as a bronzer it is beautiful but i love this guy so you know i was actually using this before i got this product i just love my creamy products to be honest with you as you guys can tell everything is pretty much creamy here except for these two products but this is really good for these colors are like super cool and when you do super cool eye looks 
it can drain out like the natural color of like the pigment of skin so you want a little bit of warmth so i actually just used this and tested it out i feel like i'm gonna like blend it out towards the top of the lid just to kind of even out the coolness with a little bit of warmth and that's all i'm gonna put in there i just freshly washed my brushes In terms of brushes, I have the Ultimate Blending by e.l.f. This is what I use for my foundation. I love this. I actually also use this as like for my bronzer complexion brush. I do like this one for my concealer because I feel like it just packs it on really nice and quickly. We have some eye brushes. Sometimes I will use this one for my concealer as well. So this is the Real Techniques 402 brush. Really nice and fluffy. I'll also use this all over my lid because it's nice and again wide and fluffy and I can just blend out my any harsh lines in my eyes 142 concealer buffer or i will use this in my crease and then last but not least i love using this one for all over my lid because it's the perfect size it's a little bit wide and fluffy it's not super super dense and it is the real techniques um 300 brush so i really like the real techniques i feel like the hair is like just glide on really nicely then i also have the refi the duo brush from her i tend to sometimes apply my bronzer with this if i don't want to dirty like if i don't feel like dirty my foundation brush i just have a very very fine angled brush just so that i can clean up the line a little bit i have this random mascara wand that i use to um, brush out my eyelashes since i don't use mascara just to make sure they look good and then we have this e.l.f. Um, actually brow pencil, but I don't use this end. I just got so used to like using this. I'm so attached to it. So I will fluff up my brows with this. Hello, babes. It is Monday morning and I have a video call meeting. I have my tripod back here. I actually have this little setup because, oh yeah, you guys can see right over there. I bought those flowers yesterday at Michael's. I figured, because I need to do a Valentine's Day haul today as well. I'm on a really tight time crunch when it comes to that Valentine's Day haul because I need to post it this Friday so that people have time to order the looks. Oh, so this week is just crazy, but my makeup is all done. I put on these simple earrings just so that the focus can be like more on the product and stuff. And I'm slightly nervous, I'm not gonna lie to you, but I'm like ignoring that because I'm like, Steph, there's no point. There's no point. I don't like doing like video calls or calls in general just because one, I'm a little socially awkward and I just always feel like I start to like fumble and like whatever they're asking me, I'm like, okay, what are you going to say? Like there's no prep like really that you can do. You don't know what someone's going to say when they're freaking looking at you, you know? And I'm so used to having this camera and not have anybody watch me doing stuff. So when you're on a video call, people are like watching you. Like literally today, people are going to watch me film and it's... I've never done that before. It's my first time. So I have a bunch of outfits in front of me prepped for the actual shoot as well. I pray that this girl behaves herself because it's going to be so embarrassing. Luckily, these girls are so easy and comfortable to work with. So I'm just going to tell them right when I start, I'm like, listen, I got a dog. So if she starts acting up, I'm going to have to step away. I'm just in this robe because I'm going to be changing and stuff. So I feel super comfortable with these girls. I've never like physically like seen them, but you know, through email, they have just been so sweet and so nice, honestly, to me. I got my lighting set up. The lighting is fueguito. The lighting is so fire today because I'm controlling it with my lamp with the new light bulb that I got and it's cloudy. So it's like I'm in control of the lighting. <laughs> Not you, Mother Nature. You just got to remember you're a baddie. <laughs> I'll see you guys after I'm done. Well, I'm done, y'all. And this is what, this is how glued my <laughs> once cute low bun was. And the best part about this is I have to keep this for tomorrow. Because if I wash my hair, I'm not going to get that sleek bun. It's going to be like poofy. I hate, ugh, I love fresh wash hair because of how good it smells and like how clean it is. But for styling, it is horrible. It went really well. The girls made me feel so comfortable. Nyla had her moments, but she was overall okay. And I got it done. The, the best part is that, and what's funny is that I thought I was gonna film looks after this. Like my eyes are so tired. I need my glasses like for seeing every day. And my doctor always tells me, you know, you have to wear those all the time, right? And I'm like, yeah, I know. 
so I don't like to push it they're already like very very tired and the fact that I have to do this again tomorrow is not a lie it's a lot I just ordered myself some food because I'm like I don't care like do you ever do that where you're like I deserve that takeout <laughs> It's, it's not a good thing to get addicted to it. It's it. No, it's not Anyways, I'm gonna remove this makeup because girl when I'm at home. It's a no makeup zone Guys, I am getting ready. I don't want to move this tripod because it's exactly where I want it to be but I don't know which earrings to wear because I have these super cute, like, gigantic, like, I don't know, stud type earrings. And then I remembered that I got these to go with this top because I just feel like there's so much, like, and I just feel like they're so dainty. Whereas, like, with this top, first, first of all, this top, I absolutely love it. But I just, I put on these at first, but I got these for another dress anyways. And I'm about to film my Valentine's Day haul. Planning to edit this portion that I'm filming today tonight so that i have like a head start because this has to be up by friday look at this bag too you guys like you guys have to go check out the haul like stop i brought this out yesterday too and they're like oh my god definitely use that there's just a lot of pretty things in this haul i'm also going to share with you guys because it's all dresses so i'm going to share with you guys the exact shape where i'm wearing underneath it's like the top question i get anytime i'm wearing like fitted things they're like but well, what are you wearing a shapewear so i'm gonna mention that as soon as i get in the video and then tomorrow is more of the fun part because i'm like styling everything that is the part that i love the most adjusting like which pieces are gonna show in the front and i really want the red obviously because it's valentine's day and also black does really well because one everybody loves black and like i'm in the middle of like with the cream so cream black and red also put a brown dress behind to also show that there's neutrals in the video so and the other thing is it's so heavy to like, like this doesn't seem heavy, but when you're like trying to focus on how you look and then this is like freaking 10 pounds, you know, it's, it's a lot, but the thumbnail is super important. So like, I'm already tired because I was like holding these up for like a good couple of minutes and like testing like what kind of looks good. But I also have my electrolytes inside of here. So my water, so that if I ever get thirsty, especially with talking a lot, your throat can get like really dry. I have, my and I should put my phone on do not disturb because it's so hard like you hear that bzz, bzz, and you just like want to look at it but you need to film and like you just if you want to get through it that might like really distract you especially if it's like a certain type of message <sighs> okay okay now i'm gonna get started <laughs> the tornado <laughs> after all of that <laughs> you good mommy loves you back from running some errands and I'm about to put together Kylo's little Valentine's Day basket like what do you get a boy toddler for a Valentine's Day basket it's the first one I ever did for him because last year he was obviously like way too young little pocket here on the arm and I can put this through here stop okay so this I got um he's like obsessed with spider-man right now like, and I got him the spider-man set I think I showed you guys in the video and I already gave him the set because I just wanted to see him in it I just think it's so cute this monkey from um Walmart I wanted something like a little bit with something with Valentine's Day cause, but I also got these little leggings in size 2t I can't believe we're already buying 2t for him so that I have like a base and it keeps like this set was at Walmart too, you guys. Like, I cannot, but it's actually Carter, so it's as if, like, you went to the Carter store. 
got this little set. He knows all of his animals, so he makes a sound when we ask him, like, what does the elephant do? It's also really great for spring, and it's also very lightweight, so if Amy, like, still needs to put a jacket on him, obviously. Like, outside, it's literal spring weather. I went outside with, like, a sweater over this, and that was it. And tell me how, like, for my birthday in March, I get a freaking snowstorm every year. And it's like February 2nd right now. Like, what the hell? Like, why can't I get some damn good weather? Literally yesterday, I just had this like bug to clean because the sun was just beaming in. It was just that like spring cleaning like type of day. You know what I mean? It was just that type of vibe. And the sun was just in and I cleaned pretty much everything. Not every single part of my place. Oh yeah, here I am talking and not telling you guys. So I also got this set with the pants. And with dinosaurs, he's so funny. He gives you his dinosaur and he goes, rawr. Imagine, you're just like talking to him and he's handing you his toys and he goes, rawr. I can't. He has a car that his grandma gave him and took Amy's car keys. Went inside of his car. He stuck them inside and he said, mama, vroom, vroom. Then I got it. so crazy because I went too soon. When I made my scones, they didn't have like a bunch of like baking stuff for Valentine's Day. I ended up getting these guys from literal Dollarama. And at home since while I was there, I ended up getting these little Lego molds. Amy can make like little yogurt pops because I saw on Instagram like you put yogurt in it. And then the kids have fun like popping it out. And then like they kind of can just have it like a snack. The other thing I got for myself was I really wanted to try this foundation over here. It's supposed to be like super glowy and just kind of like very lightweight but at the same time like just being very very glowy Baku how do you pronounce this bakuchio i don't know anyways it's basically that is like an alternative for retinol it's a lot more um for sensitive skin because retinol is uh, like it's good for anti-aging but retinol a lot of people get reactions to it whereas this is a lot more gentle on the skin really great for sensitive skin i actually have i ran out actually i literally bought a um, a whole bottle of Bacochil, but I bought a whole bottle of it and I used it on my face as like a alternative for retinol and I literally ran out. I honestly loved it, but it has like these beads. If you guys can see, it has like these little beads and it's supposed to just like melt into your skin. So I'll give you guys my thoughts after I try this. So I ended up also getting this little belt so cute that I showed you guys. I ended up getting medium large. I wanted like a beige color because I feel like this looks so nice as an accent with black. It looks nice if you're wearing like a mocha color, darker pant. But plus, I just really want like a lighter shade of a belt. And that's all I got from Walmart. I got two pillows from HomeSense, but I kind of want to do like um, a collection of new things I'm getting for my place because I do want to switch up the decor a little bit here and there. And I just have like a new just inspiration. So I don't want to like include it. I would rather just like do a whole thing on it. I also forgot that I got these stickers. He's obsessed with stickers. So these ones at least have like dogs and stuff. And for dog, he says Dodo. And he just loves like grabbing the stickers. Plus these are like 3D. So I think he's gonna think they're kind of cute and like different from the ones that he has. So I'm also gonna put this in the basket and I'll show you guys what the basket ends up looking like. How do you open this? Oh, it's like this. They want us to drink it from the thing. From where? Like they want us. <laughs> slurpy, slurpy. Mmm, it's yummy. Oh, it's good. Right? Okay. Yeah. Very good. Happy. Very good. Okay. You want me to clean it? Pizza for the back. Oh, this is such a vacation sandal. Mm -hmm. yeah, that is nice. Oh my god, that is a vacation sandal. Well, like. Oh my god, that's a beautiful color. Ooh, that's soft, eh? I love that. But is the is this the back or the front? 
front. No, this is the front. Oh. Yeah, I knew that because you never put the pocket on the front. Look at this one. Oh my god. I, I know, but see, like, that is the one where, like, you can only fit your wallet, your sunglasses, whatever. Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh my god. And it's not even that expensive, mom. It's two something. Yeah. Mom, this small one is the same price as the medium. Yes. And then if you want to travel for the weekend, <laughs> that one's like a massive one. You love orange, eh? Mas eu nunca comprei uma feita. Eu não tenho feita. Mas é um doce, não é uma feita. Oh, ok. É um doce, mas não é uma coisa para ele. Estou a ver a É uma doce mais fresh, like. E aqui okay. quando nós queremos chamar, meu pai dizia, não sei para onde é que Como é que chama? Estou a fechar para vender a mais feita. Pode dizer que está pronto, right? É, porque este chama. Só que a linha contava muito para dizer. Eu já ponho quando está um bocadinho de burro. Tem que ser, right? Tem que ser. Eu ainda fiz o que acho que eu já vou a fazer o que eu já vou a fazer. Eu disse a Mark, se eu não Mas tens de ir para fora. Não vais trabalhar nos quintos? Tens de ir para as bases. E ainda nas línguas. Ih, grande cadelinho. Ih, grande azar. Because a mommy falava assim. Ela dizia, ih, grande azar, mas é sub, you know? E ainda para aquelas ruas, hein? E as ruas eram daquelas pedras, hein? Ou dois, dois anos de idade. Ele já te vendeu, ok? Isto. Mom said that they would love seeing me talk like that, hein? I feel like just... I'm going to be scratching my nose. You're going to give me oh, heads okay. up. Well, scratch it again. <laughs> no, look at this. Look at that. That's it something you only like see. An old on... school TV or something. Like a TV it reminds me of. Doesn't it remind you of the Flintstones? Or yeah, I think that's what I'm doing. Doesn't at. it? That's what I'm getting at. Yeah, wow, that's right. something you only see like online. How much is that? $2.99. Wow. Ready for the spring stuff, girl? That one looks nicer. Like, see how this one's like mostly white, but then like this one has like a bunch of yellow. So I've been finding them for $19.99 this size. This one's actually $14. I might take this one, you know? Just look, it's us. Get it? Pisces. That's right. Oh, they're not even attached. I thought that they were attached. <gasps> Me and Jess, twinsies. <laughs> Shout out to our Pisces. I don't know what it is, but I'm like into oh this God. right now. I feel like it looks so sophisticated, huh? That one, the like dusty one. Oh, that is pretty. I like that one. I think you like when it kind of like droops down and hangs. Yeah, no, I like more of a, a viney kind of look. This is so nice for it's like a balcony like, wall, like I have. Pick, be too much for painting to paint the white. I think you should get this and then like just let me like decorate your place. Good luck, Maria. <laughs> we would never agree on anything. <laughs> Listen, I would go off of your style, not my style. I'm we, serious. We don't even know what my style is. My style is just. I'm gonna create. Throw a bomb in the room and let it let it do its thing. Oh, you, and then you then said it, not me. And then sometimes I sprinkle a little stuff here and there. Yeah, like this is approved. This is stuff approved. Buy it, please. What is happening here? We haven't made it out of the first freaking two aisles, and we have like three plants. Are you, no. Maria? Do you want another plant? Do you want this one, and I can just no. paint it for you? No. It's, it's too so. Dark. No, I'm s Jessica. It matches no, your this. bedroom one. You're so dumb. It's the same color. <laughs> You're so. St I swear to God, this is I why I'm here. Vision. I will get it if you can find at least one more, so I can have it matching on each shelf, like one on each shelf. Shut up, for me. Oh, 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 oh. oh there's, a <laughs> there's literally another one right there. Uh, Jessica wanted to add this to Kylo's big boy room, and then which yeah. one also? A shark stool. Okay. So yeah. explaining is that. Okay, the um, the theme has to be consistent, and right now we're going off the rails. 
I'm gonna message Amy and be like, do not allow her to be a part of this process. Which one of you went to PetSmart and saw Jessica? Which one of you? Which one of you? <laughs> she said she got. She said she got recognized, and they're like, like "Are you Stephanie's sister?" I, just, I can't go anywhere anymore these days. It's it's. She so can't like. She always messages me like, oh, "Please, not at the stores, because I'm always gonna get recognized." Yes. Oh my god. Do you want an autograph? Oh my. God. <laughs> this is me. Not me with five pens. Which color do you want to do? Oh in? my god. I'm like. What if I just put like a shelf behind my bathroom and just like put the towels there but like don't use them? She's like, you do that all the time, so I don't even know why you're asking me that. <laughs> Remember that thing on top of my table and you're like, Steph, that looks like a rolled up piece of shit. Like, but you're you so guys buy white. fancy towels all the time to design. You put it right next to this thing, but don't use that one to dry your hands. God forbid. Jessica, this is why I cannot live with a man. Every two seconds, I'd be like, don't fucking touch that. You're mm -hmm. not supposed to use that. Just try to feel the bristles and just... <laughs> just go. No, I think it's... The oh, it, oh, it slides. I can imagine you trying to get some grease and then pull the <laughs> Yo, I can't with this I'm girl. Like a scrubber. Like, Yo, that's, like look at that. <laughs> that was barely any force, bro. Like, the, what kind of exfoliation are you going to get like, with that? What if you know, my boyfriend gets a lot of grease stains. He's going to be like, <laughs> fucking poke himself in the ass. <laughs> Yo, imagine you're scrubbing your ass and it goes off your ass. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Guys, I don't think I've ever seen my, like, she's not, like, 100% on it, but when she came out, I was like, oh, my God. Come on out, sister. Dun, 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 dun. I have never seen her look this nice in a dress, and I'm being honest. She's like, you're lying. I'm like, I swear to God, like, yeah, on God, I know you're not used to it, but that is what, the sleeves, though, is what's, like, giving it this, like, whimsical feminine thing to it. You love this one. With a black shoe? Oh my. Yeah, it, you know what, you could be right, it could be because I'm wearing running shoes and it's Yes, off, Jessica, like, the sleeves yeah. are what's making it. Like, it's making it extra nice. Yeah. Whoop. had this place but Jessica's like do you want to try it so there's these like oh my god so I got cappuccino crisp and Jessica got bueno you put the whole ball in your mouth mm -hmm. damn okay yeah they are you're not boiling hot though wait I don't do one bite I'm sorry wait, that one's bueno this is bueno that's coffee crisp Taste it with a little bitter coffee. Mm. This is brown. Oh my god. Mm. Just I'm not gonna lie. That's heaven. <laughs> Just stop. I'm trying to take this all in because my body's going. It's a lot of flavor. <laughs> They're both really good. It's just this one, as soon as you bite it, you get a lot of cappuccino. Mm -hmm. That's good. Hey, these are dangerous. Mm -hmm. Remember I was you? talking to you about the figure I need to take? <laughs> this is not going to allow that to happen. Not me having to return the dress I just bought. <laughs> Yo, these are dangerous. Oh my <clears throat> god. This is going to be a new dessert for so Christmas. Hello babes, it is the present day. I'm literally just like finishing up editing the vlog, but I realized I didn't show you guys what I got with my mom. Um, and the last thing you saw was when I went out with Jessica. I ended up getting this bracelet with her. I'll show you guys a close up. It is so pretty. I just wanted like something super minimal to wear with all my outfits. I found this at Laura because we were looking for a dress since Jessica has two weddings to go to. And she looked so good in that dress. She ended up getting it. But with my mom, I ended up getting these earrings 
from H&M. I only got stuff from H&M. This cardigan over here in like this buttercup type of yellow. But I've seen this color with like fresh white kind of like flowy pants and it looks so nice. So I was like, you know what, mom, I am going to try out this color. I have this exact same cardigan in like a sandy beige color. I feel like for springtime, this is like so, like such a nice color to wear. But that's literally all I got, you guys. But I just wanted to show you guys what I ended up picking up. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this vlog. I'm sorry that I didn't have one last week. These long vlogs are hard to keep up with like on a weekly basis, but I am trying my best. Love to include as much as possible inside of them. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up comment down below what your favorite part was or what you guys just loved about the video if you guys are not subscribed and make sure you guys do click the bell to get notified for all of my brand new videos thank you guys so much for watching and i will see all of my beautiful babes in my next video did you come over here to say bye to them look over there say bye guys say love you say i'm gonna go see my baby cousin bye guys